in the bustling streets of Gaza. Plistia, along with her friends, skipped joyfully, their laughter echoing through the neighborhood. Isn't today just perfect, Plistia? Absolutely! It feels like nothing can break our spirit. Plistia's voice rings out amidst the playful banter. Come on, let's race until we reach our house. You're on, but I'm going to beat you this time. Their footsteps quicken as they take off, laughter trailing behind. Plestia arrives home, greeted by the familiar smells of her mother's cooking, a comforting embrace after a day of learning. How was your day, dear? It was amazing, Papa. I learned so much at school today. Miss North taught us about Palestinian history and I can't wait to tell you all about it. That's wonderful, Plestia. Education is the key to our future. Never stop learning. Your father is right. Knowledge is something no one can take away from you. And remember, we always here to support you in every step you take. No matter what happens, we will always be here for you, my dear. Her mother's words were a blanket of comfort, wrapping her in a sense of safety amidst the uncertainty. Suddenly, under the cloak of night, the sky erupts in flames as Israeli soldiers' attacks rain down on Gaza, shattering the peace of Plestia's world. The once vibrant streets now echoed with the sounds of destruction, sending waves of fear through Plestia's heart. Plestia's voice trembles with desperation as she calls out for her family amidst the chaos. Mama! Papa! Where are you? Determination burns in Plestia's eyes as she frantically searches for her parents amidst the chaos, her heart pounding with fear. I won't give up. I have to find them. Her resolve is echoed by the survivors around her. We will get through this together. We have to. Plestia keeps looking for her parents, not giving up even when it's hard. Despite the devastation, Plestia found strength in the solidarity of her fellow survivors. Their resilience was a beacon of hope amidst the chaos. She also decided to further her studies despite what had happened. Years later, Plestia stands on the stage, her achievements celebrated by those around her. It's time for the world to hear our stories to see the strength that lies within us. Our voices will be heard. Our stories will not be forgotten. Every moment captured here is a piece of our truth, a testament to our resilience. It's not just a story, it's our reality. With every pose, I aim to shine a light on the unseen, to give a voice to those silence the conflict. It's humbling to see our stories resonate around the world. There are risks, yes, but if telling the truth means putting myself in danger, then so be it. The world needs to know what's happening here, and I'm not turning back. Christia was seen interviewing people around Gaza. This is my mission, to capture the truth. This is my mission, to share the reality of life in Gaza with the world. This is my mission and I won't rest until justice is served. One day, Plestia strolls through her neighborhood, her heart heavy with the weight of the suffering around her. Suddenly, Plestia hears screams for help and begins searching for the source. She looks around, determined to find the source of the screams. My step faltered as I stumbled upon a scene that would haunt my nightmares. An Israeli soldier was forcibly dragging Palestinian woman. Anger boiled within me, but I stood frozen, outnumbered and powerless. She watches in shock as the soldiers overpower the woman and drive away. The woman was making a valiant effort to retaliate and get away from the Israeli soldiers. Given that the troops were armed and that there were many of them, it was evident that their efforts were in vain. Please, let me go! 
I have a baby with me. How can you guys be so cruel toward us? Shut up, girl. Just follow us silently. I don't give a damn about your begging. This cannot be happening. I need to follow them. Time is a thief. I need to be fast. Vroom vroom! Plestia stealthily follows them in her vehicle. She is intrigued by their whereabouts and the fate that awaits them. The van takes them to an area that appears to be abandoned and silent. What kind of place is this? Why are there so many jails? Plestia's curiosity remains unanswered as she tries to figure out what kind of place this is. Plestia witnessed the Israeli troops dragging them to confinement area by force. They mistreated everyone, including young girls and children. Plestia decided to hide behind the bush since it was the only safe place she could think of to examine what was going on there thoroughly. The victims were subjected to severe physical abuse in the confined area. The bulk of the ladies in the cell had severe injuries including wounds and bruises all over their bodies. They were all afraid yet remained optimistic about help. The Israeli soldier spots movement and shines his flashlight in Plestia's direction. Plestia quickly hides behind a rock. Help! Who's there? Plestia hesitantly emerges from behind the rock, looking both curious and frightened. I cannot allow unauthorized individuals to roam freely near our base. You will come with me. Please, I'm harmless. I will leave. I promise. The Israeli soldier reaches out to grab Plestia, but she manages to slip away and flee off stage. Blast it! I must report this incident immediately. The Israeli soldier approaches Plestia with a stern expression, causing Plestia to shrink back. Exploring in a military zone? You must be detailed. Keep your eyes peeled. We can't afford any surprises up here. Quiet down in there. You are lucky to be alive. The prison guard walks past Plestia's cell, eyeing her sternly. You, new girl, wash yourself. Disruptive behavior won't be tolerated here. Y yes, sir. I will be quiet. The prison guard continues his rounds, leaving the prisoners in tense silence. In the depths of despair, amidst the shadows of captivity, a beacon of strength emerges. Plestia, her face illuminated by a faint shaft of light, embodies resilience in the face of adversity. What if they never let us out, Plestia? What will happen to us? We will get through this together. Stay strong. Outside the prison walls, cries for justice grow louder. In the streets, Plestia's supporters gather, a sea of determination and defiance. Plestia stood up for us, and now it's our turn to stand up for her. We demand her release. Bring Plestia back! We won't stay silent! On social media, the digital landscape becomes a battleground for truth and freedom. Hashtag Free Plestia becomes a rallying cry, echoing across cyberspace. The world is watching. We won't let them forget about Plestia. Behind me, you can see people of all ages and backgrounds united for this cause. Their message is clear. They will not rest until Plestia is free. As the eyes of the world turn towards the unfolding drama, journalists and reporters descend upon the scene their cameras capturing the growing outcry of Plestia's disappearance. Until now, there has been no update about Plestia. The people are demanding answer. Where is Plestia? Who is responsible for her disappearance? We will continue to follow this story closely. This is Amira Al-Sharif reporting live. We will not be silenced. They cannot erase our voices. 
Your right, Pelasgia. As long as we stand together, they cannot break our spirit. We have each other, and we have the truth. That's something that you cannot take away from us. In the face of darkness, a flicker of hope remains. For Plestia and her supporters, the fight for justice is far from us. Nowhere in the land that belongs to the Palestinian people is there a home for Plestia and the Palestinian people. The streets are filled with the wreckage of war. People are displaced and a layer of anxiety and unease grips everyone's heart. Since Plestia's disappearance, we have all been deeply anxious, but we cannot just sit back and wait. We must act and find her. We can't do it alone. Whoever wants to join us, step forward. We have formed this organization, but our task is far from complete. We must use every channel to find Plestia. Our efforts have not been in vain, but we cannot stop. Plestia still needs our help. We must keep going. We have learned that Plestia has been taken to an Israeli prison far from the city. Plestia was arrested for exposing Israel's actions in Gaza on social media. This is just the beginning of our fight. We must continue until Plestia returns safely. After a long search and negotiation, Plestia was finally found in an Israeli prison and the Palestinian and Israeli governments held a meeting on the issue of Plestia. We must address the situations. Global pressure is mounting and we can't delay any longer. We could consider releasing Plestia and some Palestinians. But we need the Palestinian government to release Israeli soldiers and prisoners in return. After a long period of waiting and negotiations, it is like a fire burning the hearts of the Palestinian representatives and people. We can't give in easily, but we also can let our people suffer. After intense negotiations, the Israeli government agrees to release Plistia and several other Palestinians. In exchange, the Palestinian government releases multiple Israeli soldiers and prisoners. The pungent smell of disinfectant mixed with the stench of blood ran through Plestia's nostrils and the agonizing wails of the injured in the hospital along with the cries of the victims who had lost their families saw it at Plestia's insides like a broken knife. Plestia believes that amidst all the mayhem, she has a big responsibility to stand up for the needs of the people in Gaza. She decides to return to Melbourne, her hometown, because she is frightened that her current job as an advocate journalist will impact her family. Hello, uncle. Can you help me with my visa? I think I'm going back to Melbourne. Oh, Plestia, of course, I would. I also will try to help you to pursue your intention here. All right, uncle. Thank you very much. Plestia begins packing all her belongings and moves to Melbourne the next day. Plestia continues her mission to raise awareness about the issues in Gaza by organizing seminars and speeches to educate communities and share her experiences. She hopes that her voice is heard and that the rest of the world is aware of what is going on in Gaza and among its people. In Gaza's heart, where shadows start to grow. The children play, so their hearts are heavy and slow. In streets of stone, where silent tears do flow, they dream of peace beneath the twilight glow.